The breach of the border in the Kursk region is the merit of the armed forces of Ukraine and at the same time, the failure of the general of the Russian army, Alexander Lapin. The Moscow Times reported this with reference to Z-War correspondence. The publication pointed out the similarity of the failure on August the 6th, 2024, with the one that led to the loss of Lyman in 2022, when the Ukrainian armed forces managed to recapture 3,000 square kilometers of previously occupied territories. Now the Ukrainian army has managed to capture about 1,000 square kilometers of territory in the Kursk region. Volodymyr Zelensky said that 74 settlements were under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. The reason for the breakthrough? was the weak line of defense and the numerical superiority of the Ukrainian armed forces. The article indicated that in 2022, hundreds of enemy vehicles became trophies of the Ukrainian army in the Kharkiv region and military facilities in the Belgorod region were in the sights of the Ukrainian armed forces. After a series of defeats on the Balaklea Liman Izium line, Lapin lost his post as commander of the Central Military District. After the defeat in the Kharkiv region, Alexander Lapin began to command the defense of the Kursk region and this shows that the Russian Ministry of Defense is based not only on the ideas of atrocities and occupation but also on nepotism and corruption. Let us recall that in October 2022, it was reported that Putin promised Lapin the post of Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Army in case of success on the front in Ukraine. Lapin managed to convince that he was not guilty of the loss of Lehman and that Ramzan Kadyrov's criticism of him was allegedly groundless. In that time, the head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, demanded that Colonel General Alexander Lapin be demoted to the rank of private because of whom the invaders allegedly had to flee from the Ukrainian armed forces from Lehman. Meanwhile, the military commander was sitting hundreds of kilometers from the front line in Lugansk. Alexander Lapin responded to his opponent through blogger Tumzo, that he took an example from Kadyrov, who sits out thousands of kilometers from his units on a luxurious sofa. Sitting on this sofa, he has already taken Kiev more than once and was even preparing to attack Poland. Ukraine's army chief, Oleksandr Sersky, said Kiev controls about 1,000 square kilometers of Kursk, according to a video excerpt of his report shared by President Volodymyr Zelensky on Telegram. It was also the first time Zelensky confirmed that Ukrainian military forces are operating inside Kursk. In his nightly address the president said war was now coming back to Russia after Moscow had taken fighting to other countries. The troops are fulfilling their tasks. Fighting continues actually along the entire front line. The situation is under our control, Sersky said. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the incursion, which has caused more than 100,000 civilians to flee, is an attempt by Kiev to stop Moscow's offensive in eastern Ukraine's Donbass region and gain leverage in possible future peace talks. The Ukrainian operation is under tight secrecy, and its goals remain unclear. 
The stunning maneuver that caught the Kremlin's forces off guard counters Russia's unrelenting effort in recent months to punch through Ukrainian defenses at selected points along the front line in eastern Ukraine. Speaking at a meeting with top security and defense officials, Putin said the attack that began August 6 appeared to reflect Kiev's attempt to achieve a better negotiating position in possible future talks to end the war. He insisted Moscow's army would prevail. Putin said Ukraine may have hoped the attack would cause public unrest in Russia, but that it has failed to do so, and he claimed the number of volunteers to join the Russian military has increased because of the assault. He said Russian forces will carry on with their offensive in eastern Ukraine regardless.